Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors, an icon tour of the species. We are in a new area, different part of the state, something totally new for me. We are hunting something a little bigger than a moose. Amber, my wife, has drawn a really good tag. What? Bigger than a moose? Did I say bigger than a moose? Well, it's not bigger than a moose because it is a moose. What did you do this year? What? What did you do this year? I drew a moose tag. Yeah. What are we doing? We're moose hunting. That's all you got to say? Yep. She's the lucky one with the tag and I can't get her to say anything. <laughs> no, we, uh, we left the house, dropped the kids off at school, and we drove across the state. And we are actually in our unit right now, which is amazing. So we're going to unload the four-wheeler. It's about almost 6 o'clock. And we're just going to drive up this road and uh, take a look and see what we can find. Someone's driving really fast. This road was really crappy. That's probably why the road's so crappy. People drive so fast. But we're going to load the four-wheeler and just cruise up this hill and just glass and see if we can spot a moose or call one in or pretty novice to moose hunting. So we're just going to give our best effort tonight and then tomorrow will be a big day. But tonight we're just going to kind of get a lay out of the country. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Icon Tour of the Species and we are moose hunting. Oh. Oh. We are doing some long distance glassing this morning. Amber's unit's way across the other hillside, um, all the mountains over here. And uh, we really couldn't get a good lay of the land last night, so we decided to come on the other side and glass across there and kind of look at some of these quakey patches in more open country. And. Uh, for it not being that cold, it's pretty cold this morning, but it's going to warm up to like 75 degrees, so we're not really excited about that. So we're just trying to pick apart this huge hillside. It's kind of hazy still right now. We're waiting for the sun to come up a little bit. It might be a little easier to see and uh, see if we can spot a moose and then at least kind of know a general area of where they're at or what they're doing. So that's kind of it right now. We're just kind of getting lay lay of the land. This whole trip is kind of like a scouting slash hunting trip. We have more time to come back over a little later in October, but we wanted to come over for a few days and uh, be able to look at the country and see what we can see and hunt at the same time. I mean, if we find a good bull, we'll definitely shoot it. So back to the glass. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? A moose. How far away is it? Really far away. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you can totally see its antlers. Or its paddle or whatever it is. figure out how we're gonna get over there. <laughs> um, it's a long way, it's probably three, four miles as a crow flies across there. But there's two of them up there, looks like a bull and a cow. I try to get some phone scope footage of them. And it's really hard to see. I'll try to get some little more now that the sun's up, but yeah. Finally we get the sun hit and you can see the sun hitting its antlers, so. It's good. We know where moose is now. 
Now we just gotta figure out if we can get up to it or we'll just keep glassing and uh, see if we can find some more. So, pretty exciting though to finally see moose when you're moose hunting. Even if it's just a little black spot. We have got the spot marked where the moose are over here. Um, it would take us a long time to get back around there. So in the meantime, we're gonna go check out a different part of the unit that's a little close for us to go see for the rest of this morning. Um, they kind of just went in this little draw over there and didn't see them come out. So we kind of have a good idea where they're at. So we're gonna loop back around, go check out another spot, and then uh, maybe come back, circle around and look in here and try to get a little closer look at how big that bull is. Um, so it's nice to finally have moose spotted, but we are going to go check out some new country. We are in the whole other side of the unit this afternoon. We took off and kind of drove over here, checked a few spots out, and we've just been driving the four-wheeler. Kind of, like I said, mostly getting the lay of the country up here. This, like looking at Onyx and stuff, looked a lot thicker than it is, and really you can glass a lot of country here. So, Amber's glassing right now. And uh, we're just, I think we're gonna stay back in here, kind of take it easy this afternoon, and then hunt in here this evening see if we can get one talking so beautiful country the leaves are changing it is just it's cool like i said it's a lot different than what i was expecting when i was looking on onyx so hopefully we'll get something to talk tonight what are you doing with the gun at just stopped because we saw a moose running through the woods we we're gonna shoot it but it was I don't know, a little too small. Yeah. We still have a couple of days to look around. We came around a corner and Amber spotted a bull, decent bull. I got like <laughs> two seconds of video of him, but uh, we saw him and he's just, I don't know, it's hard to tell. He was wide, but he did, his palms weren't very big. And, uh, but that's a moose, I got close moose. I've never seen one in real life. Besides this morning. Right. She doesn't really count the ones from this morning because they were so far away. <laughs> She's like, I never seen one. I'm like, what are you saw this morning? She's like, well, mm -hmm. that was a long ways. Like this one, this it was one probably was like this was fifty yards away. And he was just standing there. He's right down in here pretty close. We might we could probably come back in here and call this evening and see if we can get him to answer just to get a little better video of him. It's pretty cool though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are getting ready for the evening hunt. We uh, rode the four wheeler down to this canyon. It turns into a single track here, and we're, it'll end up taking us down into the river. So we're kind of excited to get down in there. There's no people up on top where we parked, and uh, so that's a good sign because so far, like everywhere we went, there's just been people. So it's about a little after five. We are going to just head down the trail, get to the river, and do some calling. We're hoping we can get a bull to respond. It would be really nice to call one in, just for video purposes and to 
be exciting even if it's not not one we want to kill be better if we find one we want to kill but um, like I said the first video this is kind of our scouting slash hunting trip like our main goal is to get over here and learn the country and uh, we'll be back in late October for probably five days if uh, if we don't get one in our final one good enough in the, in the meantime so pretty excited about tonight we're gonna head out here and uh, see what we can find but no people has been very nice down on the bottom. Don't see any bulls with her though. Called to her a little bit. She could hear it, but no bull. So pretty though. So we're just gonna move up to this next little vantage point and glass down in there some more. Once again, we are walking back to the truck with no moose sightings. Got set up and called and had some duck hunters come down. They said we sounded like a moose, so I guess that's a... Sound legit. They say you sound legit, so that's a step in the right direction, but... I'd rather a moose think we sound legit and come in, but we didn't hear anything, so... We're gonna move down to another spot. They told us about a spot down, whatever, a little farther, so... We'll check that out on the way out of here, but other than that, we'll be back in late October. Successful scouting trip. It was a good scouting trip. That's kind of what we were hoping for is we saw moose and we learned the area. And now we're ready to come back and Amber says it won't quite be it won't be quite as be as scary because now she actually knows what the country looks like. But it's cold this morning, it's like 30 degrees, but we're gonna go check out a new spot and then we'll be heading home. Good morning from Moose Camp. We got in here last night and got the wall tent set up and got camp kind of all around and uh, getting ready to head out for our first hunt on this trip. We're back in where we saw that bull in the first week of October and we've ran into some guys that said they've seen quite a few moose in here, so hopefully we'll be able to find a decent bull back in here and uh, get it done this trip. It's a little colder. There's snow on the ground a little bit. But we got Amber, the lucky moose tag holder. We got Bennett and Brody eating a breakfast burrito. Yeah, then outside we got Gary and then we got some other people coming in tomorrow, Garrett and Maddie. So we're gonna have a whole crew in here looking for a bull for Amber. So we're gonna get ready, head up the hill and uh, see what we can find. Well, we've made it about 500 yards from camp and we've got a bull spotted right over here, right off the four-wheeler trail. We're gonna take a look and see what it looks like. Let mom see. She's looking. It's hard to tell. What 
do you think, Moose Hunter? It's as hard as the first, like, very first one, like the first 30 seconds we get out here. I don't know. These paddles aren't, like, huge, but I'm like... We got a better look at this bowl, and his one side's really nice, but his other one looks like the paddle's busted off. Got some good mass, but we've got time. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some other bulls. This guy, he was just right. They're so easy to see right now. They're huge. What do you guys think? Huge. Mm, it's huge. Huge body. Her ears are huge. You saw its eyeball even. Its high. Its eyeball is huge. Its ears. Oh, he's coming out. Oh yeah, he is. Mm. Look how big that. You hear him? Oh. Oh. Official. He came out, he's still calling. It's the end of October. He's grunting. I called at him a few times and he started grunting, coming down right towards us. So, pass? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we've got lots of time. I agree. Pretty cool though. He's like 250 yards. Well, we're going to get up to our next glass and point and uh, see what we can find. Just got back to the four-wheeler. Got the spot and scope broke out. There's a cow bedded down up here, like we thought. Here's some phone scope footage. So, that makes one bull, one cow. What do you think? I think we need to keep looking. Let's go. Let's ride. You know it. Uh huh. Got, uh -huh. got enough chapstick? Uh huh. Your lips hurt real bad? He's walking right here. Look. What are you looking at? Nice. Is it big enough? It's good. Yes. Look. You can see his legs. He's walking that way. Okay. Alright, let's get up there. Are you excited? He's wide. He's super wide. He's just big body as well. It's like... We just got up to a spot that we knew was pretty good. We kind of wanted to focus on these drainages and got up here and Amber and I were glassed up the backside. And Gary glassed up this bull right on ties about 647 yards. So we're going to have to get closer. We're just trying to keep our eyes on him and see what he does. And then see if we can get a shot on him. He's wide. A nice bull. Huge body. Really good bull. He might be in a bed right there. Look at that. gave us the slip. He got into these thick quakies and we can't pick him up. So we're just going to kind of work the way we think he would go. Let's see if we can find him. It's a good bull. 
she's in better spirits than me. She's like, it's okay, we'll find one. I'm like, mm. Mm. Amber doesn't like being on camera. We are back to where we saw that big bull that gave us the slip. We're just glassing here one more time. Then we're gonna head back to camp, cut firewood, get everything kind of ready. So that's the plan. Hoping then, who knows? Maybe we'll see something on the way back down. But wish this big bull wouldn't have gave us a slip. I think he's got to be right in there somewhere. But the wind swirled on us last minute, and I think that just did us in. Amber's still in high hopes. She said she didn't think it was the one. We saw a lot more than we thought we would today. Doing good. It's here. It's here at Moose Falls. <laughs> it is the second morning. Last night, Amber forgot the camera. What did I do with it? Just, Are you surprised? So I got some video mm -hmm. on myself. I'm oh, super windy on top. We just got up on top and glassed all evening. Oh, got Maddie nice. and Gary here now. Over there. And uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to where we saw that really wide bull yesterday. See if we can find him and uh, hike up the ridge a little bit. Kind of looking at some different canyons. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, pretty good day. Two bulls, three cows, one shooter bull. So <laughs> hopefully today we can find another that wide bull or another shooter bull. And uh, we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Everyone said it was cold in here last night. Well, the girls. It's freezing. It was rather chilly. Everyone else said it was pretty warm, but the girls said it was cold. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Better hey, it's Amber. It's Amber's fault. Why? She's got the tag. She's the reason we're all here. Why are you gonna force me into this? Yeah. Amber, come look at him. Hey, Amber. It's pretty good. Well, it's not like it's had this pretty cool. Oh yeah, babe. I like this one way better than yesterday. Hey. Yes. Hey, hey, can I see it? Where's the other one? I don't know. Gary's got one over here. Wait, can I see? Two minutes. Got one. Got one. Got one. <laughs> Oh mom, you want one. I like this you want that it. one. I like when they have yeah, the thick paddles. One, mom. mom, you want that. That's a good bowl. So, what did the other one look like? He's got a huge waddle too. That's 2,548 yards. He's just feeding away. Go do kill So fast. What's the plan, moose tag holder? Um, you like you like that bull? Mm -hmm. Better than yesterday, I think. Yeah. Yep. I knew That's we should good. have waited. Had a feeling. So the plan was, we were gonna go straight to where we saw that really wide bull, and uh, we got up to this glassing pot spot where we were last night. And I was like, I just can't pass it. And we went up there and right where that cow was bedded down all day yesterday, we spotted a moose and oh, he's like walking this pretty good bull. So we're gonna keep our eyes on him. We'll probably move a couple ridges closer and get a better get a better eye on him. You can see him walking. But I can see it's a good bull. He's got big paddles. So Amber likes big paddles. She likes big paddles. I like big paddles and I cannot lie. That's what she said. So and then we got a cow spotted over here. So. I'm glad we didn't pass this spot up. <laughs> There's our spot on crew. We're gonna keep an eye on I can't see you. You already lost him? Yeah. Some spot and crew you guys are. You can't find him, he's in the big ass ones. Yeah, I know. We're gonna head over there, get to this next ridge. Cut off about 900 yards and get back on him, hopefully. Oh, 
people from yesterday was just walking in front of us and then went down. And then we just stayed in Ross called to it a little bit. It's pretty cool. Isn't it, How do you feel about this? This is a big moment. I hid behind Amber when I saw the moose. <laughs> Bed down. There we go. So we cut the distance in half and we've got this bull. He just bedded down. So we're just trying to figure out exactly what we need to do. He's not in a great place. The one ridge down below is going to be like a 700 yard shot. Over here is probably similar and we can't, we're not going to shoot that far. So we're just trying to figure out what to do. If we wait, we might wait for the thermals to change and we'll try to go up above them and come down in on them. made it within 600 yards. This bull still bedded down, but we need to have that distance about half. So he's across the draw right now, so we're just trying to figure out if we want to drop down a little bit and try to call, or we loop all the way around and try to come on top of him. But there's quite a few little aspen patches that if we bust him, he'll go straight down the hill and we won't get a shot. So we got lots of time. It's early in the day, we just got to figure out the best thing to do but he's still just bedded down right where we bedded him down way across the canyon over there so we'll see amber's getting her boots laced up ready just in case Looks like he's gonna kind of work his way towards us. So Amber and I are gonna drop down a little lower and see if we can get set up for him to come. He, we'll kind of meet him in the middle is kind of the hope. So hopefully he reads the script. Oh. Oh. Oh.
another one in. Put another one in. Put another one. In. There you go. Put another one in him. Put another one in him. Just wait. He's going down. Just wait. If he turns broadside, you stick another one in him. Right there. He's going down, babe. He Put another one in him. He's going down. There you go. Woo! She put another one in him. You smoked him, babe. Just stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. He's Why down. Not? Just stay on him, babe. You smoked him. Oh. Woo! Woo! He just shot a once in a lifetime moose. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's down. <laughs> shot him with the SIG Cross 308. Just smoked him. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, let's go see him. <laughs> oh. She did awesome. <laughs> You smoked him that first shot. Oh, why am I laughing? I feel so evil for laughing. No, I mean, it's crying, babe. <laughs> it's Dude, like... you, we put a lot of work in. Oh my gosh. We have got a bowl down. <sighs> Good job. <laughs> That's a lot of work and you just, he's a stroker. Oh my goodness. Stop snorting. I love it. He's died in a perfect spot I too. I know. I cannot believe. We called this bowl in 300 yards and I didn't know we were either gonna sneak around on top or try to call. And I got him to stand up, got phone scope footage of him and Amber and I snuck down and he came in 132 yards. And she just hammered called him. Called him in all the way. Called him in. It's October 31st. It's Halloween. <laughs> and she just absolutely smoked an awesome bull. Oh my goodness. Oh my this makes my season. It makes my whole season right here. This is the hunt that, oh, that this needed to happen on. I've been having such a dry spell. and Oh my goodness. Oh, so cool. Are you glad we practiced oh my putting gosh, other yes. rounds in? Oh my goodness. I Man. had a vision of him standing right there. I did too. too. I just I didn't was like, think. He's going to come I, right there. When the last time he called and was raking, I thought he was across the draw. And the next thing you know, I looked down and he is right below us. Yeah. He was coming right up here. Oh my goodness. That was oh my so I thought he was up there a little ways and I was sitting there and I'm like, he's just been sitting there forever. Then all of a sudden he we see him walk right He's right in the, the middle, ground. dead. Yeah, well, okay, so it was cool because we could see him through the trees, but we all also had a good eye for you guys. Did. Yeah, so I recorded a lot oh. of it. But oh my gosh, oh, Maddie. It was so cool. Oh, well, and then I, I, was like, ah! I saw you shoot, I saw you shoot. And then Ross or Gibber's like, I think she got him. So, he did so good. Awesome. Babe, you were quite he possibly right there. You were quite possibly the first person to ever shoot a moose with a six cross hour cross. Yeehaw. Why is that? That was way cooler than shooting That's a bear. A Could not have died in like a better spot. Oh my gosh. Look, a wallow. Oh yeah. Holy smokes. Oh my god. It's boggy. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Fall down. Holy freak. Oh my god. Holy That is a stud. Holy crap. He 
He's huge! Yeah. <laughs> He's so crazy. Oh, he still has like some velvet on. What do you got there? Sponsor. Celebration Sp Red Bull. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. At me. <laughs> At Amber TCD. Yep. What's your real name? Tierra! <laughs> Shut up. So they like rub all of this off. Do you get to talk, Amber? Oh, are we? Uh, this is a video. This video. is the. This okay, let's is the. Start over. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, we can start One, over. Two, three. Go. Okay, it's a video. And we're back. We'll switch back outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're back. Okay. It's your hunt. <laughs> it was awesome. He came right in. Ross Ooh. called him all the way in. Ooh. Had to stop him with a bullet. It was great. Three. Yeah. <laughs> so, True. True. it's pretty crazy. We uh, we were over here the first part of October. You guys will see in this, the couple prior videos. And we we're trying to call him in and couldn't get anything to come in at all. And then now it's today is Halloween. And uh, we spotted this bull from over 2,000 yards away. And when we made a stock up to above us up here, we got within 600 yards, and I was just at a loss to know what to do. If we were going to come in from above him, if we busted him, he was going to go down the quake because we would lose him. So I thought the least invasive thing to do would be just to try to call. Did some cow calls and some grunts, and uh, he stood up and started making his way over. And Amber and I, we dropped down lower, and Maddie and Garrett stayed up on top to where they could have a little better vantage point. And we dropped in, there's some rocks right up above us, and we lost sight of him across the draw. And then all of a sudden we heard crashing and grunting and next thing you know he was like 140 yards away walking right into us. And uh, I did my best with the camera to get the shot and I think it did pretty good but I was set up, I was thinking we were going to shoot him across the draw and he came in a lot closer. And Amber just smoked him the first shot and then put another round into him and then I, we, we were practicing the whole time before this to for her to shoot and put another shell in just as fast as she could just to chamber that cartridge in and then that way we knew it was going to be this is big animals and we didn't know how far the shot was going to be and if we would have let that first shot go it would have died but um he died in a perfect spot here and it's just it's incredible this is an idaho shire smoose that's like i said this is a once in a lifetime hunt for amber and last year she shot that big bull elk and i shot a big bull moose so she's beating me on two of the species in her first two years of hunting but shot it with the Sig Sauer, the cross, chambered in 308. And uh, Amber really enjoyed shooting this gun. And we got her really comfortable with it. And you could tell when it came down to crunch time that she was ready. Man, it's just crazy that it's it's done. Let's go. I talk enough for all of us here. Yeah, it's exciting. But it is. It was cool. It was my first time ever. Yeah. So that was fun. I've never been Maddie and here. Garrett got yeah. married a week ago today. This is our honeymoon. <laughs> well, they went on a little honeymoon, but then this is <laughs> this is the this is the cool honeymoon. They're not very obvious. What do you guys do for honeymoon? Garrett, yeah, this is what Garrett wanted. Oh, we went to on do. a once in a lifetime moose hunt with Amber yeah. and got to see the whole thing. They were videoing with their cell phone up above, and uh, Amber got a little excited. She told me I had to edit the video, but I don't <sighs> think so. I think that I that, that I raw screamed. emotion's awesome. I didn't mean to scream. It just. I couldn't believe it was happening. I screamed happening. back at you though, it was so good. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it was happening. Yeah. So we got a huge thanks to Gary. He's got our boys and mm -hmm. they stayed on the ridge back by the four wheelers to keep their eye on them. And uh, we got a hold of him and he's going to drive around and then bring the boys up here so they can be a part of all this too. So once lifetime experience, I'm glad they came along. They wanted to come with us, but we were just like, it was kind of down to crunch time. We had until Monday to get a moose shot mm -hmm. and uh, this was a pretty good opportunity. Like I said, a little nervous when he was over there, bedded down at 600 yards, but it all worked out. And it's just crazy that he, they were still calling him. Mean, he was grunting the whole way in and raking. Um, so he cut off, shoot about 500 yards. And uh, they made an awesome shot. Now the real work begins. I've said that a lot in videos, the work begins, but this is like legitimately like the real work, a moose. So we're gonna get the hide off this thing, quarters hung up and get him cooling down.
Hold up. Just a freaking mule. Oh my gosh, that looks so <laughs> That is huge. You got the oh, first load down. You look like my mother. Looks pretty You're good. Not. I'm going back. Just yeah, got a couple Amber more quarters up there. And Amber here packed out a front quarter all the way out with no pack. Happy gal. <laughs> tough. Luckily, it's not as far as we thought. It really wasn't bad. Just straight down the draw and pretty good trail. But we're gonna head back up and get the last load. Then go get something to eat. Yeah. I think everyone's hungry. But look at that. Garrett and I are making our way out of here with the last load. I'm honestly in shock that we got all this out today. Uh, but Amber took that front quarter, Garrett took a hind quarter, I took the head and the cape, and then the boys took all the back straps, inner tendon, and all the miscellaneous meat and neck meat and stuff. So, went pretty quick. So, Garrett and I are just, I've got a hind quarter, and he's got front quarter and we're making our way out of here the sun's just setting and uh, we're getting pretty close but unreal how it all unfolded today from we glassed the exact same spot as we did last night and didn't see anything and then this morning spotted this bull right off the bat another cow and uh, still in shock that they were still responsive to calls but luckily that bull yesterday Kind of showed me the way because I don't know if I would have tried with this bull. We had two options to go up and around. I was afraid we'd spook him into the aspens, and then I was like, well, let's call him. He came right in 132 yards, and Amber just smoked him with that. That 308. And, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Icon Tour, the species moose leg. And, uh, I think we're gonna sign off for on this video where I don't want to bore you guys with tearing camp down and all that kind of stuff tomorrow. It's pretty much all we've got the left to do. So thank you guys so much. It's been a learning experience chasing these moose. Got it done on a great shire moose here in Idaho. And uh, Amber's pretty lucky. Drew a great bull tag, bull elk tag last year. Shot a great bull. Shot this great bull moose today. So she's a trooper though. But thank you guys once again for watching. Hit subscribe. I'll be chasing elk probably in the next couple days with Brody on his tag. And uh, we'll keep this, this lucky streak going. Needed a switch. So we're going to sign off and uh, see you guys in the next video. Ooh.